you guys. Sorry, I'm stuffing my face. Um, it was my wonderful wife. She brought me some parts. Um, he called and told me that everything was in, but everything wasn't in. I'm almost done with these. Uh, these have been quite a go around, guys. Um, anyway, this I didn't realize it till I went to. Uh, you well, know, let me start off. Josie, we got to get her act together here. Um, both of these pieces I just changed on both machines. This piece goes clear across. I mean, they had been scabbing and welding on them. I mean, these these things are two hundred and something thousand dollars a piece, and I just can't believe that you would scab a bunch of shit on there like that. But see how they were. Look at this. I mean, they they had to grind all this out. And so anyway, uh, one of the doors was completely mangled and bent way up like this and the curtain was ripped halfway off and that's what I'm missing is the curtain right here anyway um, uh, so that's all I can do for this but anyway on this one I'm trying to think get my train of thought going here as the phone rings and destroys my train of thought but anyway, this is the, what they call the swath flap back here behind the conditioner. And I didn't realize, so I pulled the piece off, and I didn't notice it the other day, because I changed the turtles and stuff on this thing the other day, and uh, changed the oil in the cutter bar. And I put some new of these in here. These were completely worn down. But anyway, um, I uh, didn't notice this was broke. You can see where I welded it back in here. And the whole thing was just sitting here flopped down, bouncing off the conditioner. So they were obviously were running it like that. So anyway, uh, got that all welded up. We're done with this for the now, for the time being. Now all we got left for the swathers is this rubber flap and put the new brace on there. And then these machines are here, ready to go. But I got both brake tractors over there. I need to service them, do a little work on them. And there's a TG275 sitting right over there with the big baler. And both tires are flat on the baler. It's got a tandem axle. It's got a it's a 20... I can't remember what the model number is. It's a Massey baler, but anyways. I got two new batteries for the uh, engine on the, or for the uh, tractor. I'm going to run over there and put those in, get that thing started, and get it over there and start going through it too. So i got to roll all my tools up here. And uh, this one here is ready to cut, but... You guys, you can see where they they had they had all this welded together here, you know, and had this one welded to this one, and it's quite a mess, you know. And these are easy to change. I don't know why you would do all that. I mean, I welded that swath flap because it's too late now. I didn't realize it was broke, but those swath flaps. I mean, I I replace them all the time. I mean, they're they're they take about ten minutes to change. There's nothing to them. And this, this takes a little longer because all this this other piece back here, I just unbolt it here and let it slide down there and then I unbolt this one. But it takes a long time when they, you, know, you got to grind all the weld and all the bird shit off of it everywhere. So anyways, let's go get this other tractor going. Okay, so probably better put some air before we get this thing started. I don't want to roll them off the bead. Um, So, you know, the more and more I'm around some of these larger New Holland uh, tractors like this 
TG280 or 275 and then that T8 300. I kind of like them. I mean, it doesn't seem like you have near as many problems uh, with them because these guys, they run them quite a bit there during the summertime, uh, bailing and working ground with them and, and stuff. And I really never get called hardly ever like that T8 300 the other day. That was uh, one of the, the, the few rare problems with that fan clutch. Uh, it didn't seem like the electronics are near as uh, finicky on these as uh, John Deere is. Uh, the John Deere's always seem like they have some kind of code or a canvas problem or something. But I don't know. Uh, uh, I kind of like them. Sorry, we can't get much of a view out of this. Come on, what's your problem? on last. Let's get the other battery in here.
her up. Do I have this? I don't remember if I left that. I'm pretty sure it's on. Maybe it's not on. Maybe I turned it off. Lift pumps running. Our electro electric hydraulic remote battery. I don't know what that's all about. Okay.
we'll back it out of here and uh i don't think i can go ahead can i yeah i can go right out through there stem is sucked inside the I'll have to fix that Push the clutch in and it quits. Not wanting to steer. Get it over here by the shop where we can work on it. Hopefully the back of the baler ain't gonna take my truck door out. Pickups up on it and they get it chained up or something. I didn't see any of the hose jumping though. This thing's got a bad manifold leak on it. Need to be fixing that. Coming in straight. working in this thing? It doesn't really seem like it is. Why is it doing that when you let the clutch out? Oh, it, they must have a... Is there a handbrake and they got it on or some damn thing? what the hell that's all about must be a handbrake somewhere I'm not as familiar with these tractors as I am with the green iron but I'm learning them it's got to be a handbrake or something somewhere that's on most of these I thought were right here but I don't see it it's got to be a brake or something that's on There's the park indicator over there. Okay, so then it came out of park. See, that park indicator wasn't on before. See, it's not coming back on. Why is that park indicator not coming on?
Beep, 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 beep. The thing we definitely need to look at is this exhaust manifold leak is pretty bad. Spot it. I have to get some kind of light shine in there and look at it a little better. But yeah, that's not good. It's just got a it says New Holland on it. Thought this would be a Cummins. And this one. No, this is this is not a Cummins. The ones that I've worked on before were Cummins. Okay, so let's look at this light and see if we can identify a manifold leak. That carbonite. Okay, so it's this one right here. Let's zip these bolts off. Let's go ahead and dump the oil on it. Okay. Okay, it's angled like this, so she's gonna come. That's gonna be right smack in the way and just gonna run everywhere. Hmm, okay. Um I'm not sure where this is going to go. Get this one about full here, and then I'll swap over to this other pan, and and then uh, I can go do other things while it's sitting there draining. Can I get lucky and just be able to tighten one up? Every time I ever try to tighten up an exhaust manifold, it's leaking, the bolt breaks. Every single time. It seems like, so I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Usually when they start leaking like that, the damage is done. It's 
this one right here. Tight. It's tight. Let me get on the horn and find out what the availability of the gasket is before I tear into this. I don't want to get it all torn down. And then find out they can't bail with this tractor because shitbirds can't get the gaskets. Okay, well, let's start doing the exhaust manifold job. And I will get it apart. It's basically all I'm going to be able to get done. And, and I got to go about 26 miles that way. And put a charge pump, char a charge pressure hose on the 75. Let me see who's nothing important. Oh, there's one in the middle there. Okay, I don't want to discharge the AC system at all. Uh, I'm going to really try to avoid doing that. Let's see here. Um, charger cooler hose off the turbo. Um, where is... Wow, they really cocked that weird. Way up here like that. That's really odd. Why'd they do it like that? I can go get a socket for that. This exhaust probably wouldn't hurt to soak them all around. Let's take this clamp clear off. That way I can get on this one, maybe. They really got this at a weird angle. I would turn the clamp around and put that down here. I mean, you can't even you can't even get on it. I mean, that is just absolutely stupid there. That don't make any sense. Well, that one's already loose. So we don't need to pop that one with a bar. <sighs> Got to get this one. I need to unplug the intake air temperature sensor. Get this one with an end wrench. There's no if ands buts about it. So I need a three quarter to take the pressure line loose. Okay, let's unplug this. Nope. Let's see if I can manage. 
had the wrong size. I thought that was three quarter, but it's 13 16 um, How am I going to get this? Why you clock that that way? Sure didn't make it easy for a guy, I'll tell you that. challenge seem to win for losing on this thing hasn't been off of there a long time screwdriver or something to try to get underneath the clamp because the clamp is stuck to the being on it. Turbo fill. It was really good, actually. Okay, cool. All right, we're gaining, man. We're gaining. Better 
your silk goes down to on this turbo. The drain line, that's got to come off of there. Pressure line. It's like 13 sixteenths, I think, or 7 eighths. Well, this old boy here is getting tired of fighting this one bolt back here on this turbo drain line, so I'm going to try to cheat. We'll see if it works. And pop it out of the... It's just got a, a pipe with a hose on it down here. That ain't even easy, very easy either. Sandwiched in there between them filters like that. So, maybe I can get it to pop out of there. Let's give it a try. Figured it would have popped loose by now. Just not doing it though, is it? We're not having the best of luck here with this situation. I had a universal too with a quarter inch drive and I still couldn't get on it straight. It was wouldn't I couldn't get on it, so I wonder if this guy takes a uh, I don't want to pull that water filter off. There it goes. It broke loose from that. Okay. I got the turbo out of the way and you can really see where it was leaking now. See all the black carbon around here and yeah this one here is the one causing all the problems. And I got this turbo out of the way now and can pull that out. I'll have to remember <laughs> to uh, make sure that I put this little angle because you can't get that sucker in now there. The only way you could get it in now there is discharging the AC system which I don't want to do. Really trying to avoid that. Okay, now I think we can zip the manifold bolts loose on it. Let's put all this stuff on the bench in the shop here. Typical farmer, they got a shop and they got so much shit in it, you can't really get nothing in it. Hmm. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, what do I do with the socket now? Lose my mind here. What am I doing? Just don't want to break one. I ordered new bolts too. So. Somewhere to set all this stuff at. It's a dump tire, I guess, or on the ground, I guess.
too easy accessing these. We'll get it though. That's not good. Alright, it came out. Thank God I kept working it back and forth. Don't want any to break on me. This one here. This one ain't too easy to deal with. This one, for some reason, I don't know why, it's wanting to act like it's not wanting to go on there, right? Crone Baylor. Damn, this thing's not working. Let me find a six point socket. Let's figure out how to get this one here. Um, I gotta figure out how to get this one loose because this bracket goes up and holds a bunch of hoses and holds the hood supports, all kinds of stuff. I really don't want to take that loose to get on that better. I wonder if I can get a ratchet on it back up here like that. Definitely had that one blown out. Here's well, two of them. There were two of them leaking. Let's see where they let's see where they came out. See the carbon all over there and it's blown clear in two. I knew when I started that thing, I was like, man, that thing is popping. Of course, these, this, this outfit here, man, these guys, these operators for this outfit, they don't ever say anything. They'll just run it till it blows up. It's unbelievable the way these guys here are. There ain't nothing left of this one. Look at that. Been that way for a while, I would say. Okay, now, <coughs> can I get this off of here? Let's see. 
that's the reason I wanted to pull that clear off right there. screwing me up here. I can do it though, I can do it. I think. AC lines sure don't make this job very easy. Okay, now that I get all that stuff out of the way. So close. There we go. It can be done. Okay. Well, that's about as far as I'm going to be able to go until I get parts. It's Saturday, so she had the manifold gaskets, but I want to put new bolts in it. She'll have those. Everything will be in Tuesday. So this thing will sit here till Tuesday. So, you can definitely tell where the leak was here. This one wasn't as bad, but this is the main culprit here. So, don't see any wet cylinders. Everything looks good there. But, uh, I mean, this is an easy fix. I don't know why you wouldn't say something to, to me. Why you wouldn't he say, hey, this thing's making noise if you didn't know what it was. And I would have came over and looked at it and said, yeah, that's, that's not that bad to do. Let's fix it. So I just have to take it upon myself with this outfit to just take, you know, just fix it. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go out to another place. I still got... I'm out of engine oil. I can't do a whole lot more. Uh, I might grease this tractor right quick and then pull the cab filters out of it, change those. But we got to do something here. Need to look the baler over. I mean, that's no good there. That needs to be fixed. Can't run around with that like that. And I guarantee you the tube's ruined because he's been running it like that with no air in it. So kind of appears that you just pull this pin just pull that pin out and just slide the whole damn thing off of there uh, easier said than done huh have to get a little tapper and tap it out of there Okay, got the little tire off of there. Um, didn't get a tube for that. So, I need to find out if we got cabin filters in there for it. bad pretty dirty so if I can find one of those should be one back here somewhere I'm trying to remember where it was um, they're in the corners here yeah 
just like an MX-255 tractor. Just little screens or... Blow these out. Now just blow those out. Put them back in there. One over here too. Well, I'll blow these out and then I'll grease it. And then I got those two T95s over there that need to be serviced. Same thing. So they're fairly new tractors. There shouldn't be much wrong with those though. Anyway, I'll blow these out, change this filter. We'll look for one of these, but yeah, she's pretty dirty. Well, guys, just same old song and dance, just work, work, work. But what else are you gonna do? Hell, sit around, stare, and watch the cars rust. And one of these days, I need to get to the shop and start doing all that stuff. But. water uh, anyway upwards and onwards